Mitt Romney announced he is not going to seek reelection in the United States Senate. Now, when I call Mitt Romney a more ethical Republican, I don't mean that I loved it when he strapped his dog to the roof of his car. I don't mean that I loved it when Mitt Romney used his Mormon faith to justify uh, anti gay policies when he ran against Barack Obama in 2012. I'm not saying any of those things. What I am saying is that on some basic human level, Romney strikes me as a generally decent pro social guy whose social conservatism I disagree with. Very different than the people that are now at the helm of the Republican Party, whether it's Trump or DeSantis or whoever. Mitt Romney has announced that he is retiring. I get it. Mitt Romney's 76 and he says it's time for the next generation. I'd be in my mid 80s by the time I finished my next term if I were to run and win. So I get it. But we continue to see a situation where the modern MAGA Republican Party is so extreme and so disgusting that for one reason or another, the more reasonable people are either being pushed out or opting out themselves. Here is Mitt Romney explaining it is time for the next generation. You know, I, uh, I considered uh, my age and the fact that at the end of a second term, I would be in my mid 80s. And I think it's time for guys like me to get out of the way and have people in the next generation step forward because they're going to be shaping the world they're going to be living in. And over the last uh, a couple of decades, people of my age, the boomers, have done pretty well for ourselves. We voted for all sorts of benefits and programs for us, and we haven't paid for them. And uh, I think some of the people that are coming along next want to have a say in, uh, in how we, uh, we leave the earth and how they prepare for the, the future they're going to live in. This is so rare in the Republican Party, not a party I support, not a party I'm a fan of. But this is so rare in the Republican Party to even hear this kind of thinking that it sounds almost like this guy is probably a Democrat, but he's not. Trump weighed in. I'm sorry, Romney weighed in on the Trump wing of the Republican Party. And he says there's no policy. There's just there's no policy from them. And unfortunately, that's what we're hearing. And again, on the, on the Trump wing of the party, I haven't heard policy. Other than saying we're going to build a wall. And by the way, he was president. He was president for four years. He built 50 miles. What, what did he get done? I said, well, how about the tax change? Well, the tax, that was Paul Ryan. That, that wasn't the Biden plan. He did, of course, he have a, had a health care plan. Remember that? That was going to, everybody's going to have low cost health insurance that was fabulous. Never proposed, never saw. He was in four years. So it's not a policy centric approach. And if you don't have policy to match your, your rhetoric, Ultimately, it's not going to be successful. What about that health care plan that was coming out two weeks later in August of 2020? Mitt Romney is right. Mitt Romney is not right. And he's an increasingly rare marginalized voice in the Republican Party. This is another example of the reasonable people comparatively self-selecting out of the insane Republican Party. He's a Republican with whom I disagree on many policies, but he's not in a cult. He's not a cult member. Now, one interesting thing will be what does Mitt Romney do during the remainder of his term to ensure Trump doesn't get reelected? Will he do something? I'm curious to see Mitt Romney weighed in yesterday on other Republicans who said the 2020 election was stolen. Romney believes they know that they're not telling the truth when they say that. He says it's just performance. And then what about Jim Cruz and Holly? Because you said they were disingenuous. I'm oh, I, I look. I, I uh, yeah. I really do believe that that um, that the many of the people uh, in leadership, meaning elected officials, who claim that 2020 was a stolen election, that we need to recount the ballots or whatever, other than through the normal judicial process, I think they do better. Uh, and and uh, and I have expressed that numerous times. That's not a, not a surprise. Look, right. look. They, uh, uh, democracy requires. Uh, belief and credibility in, in elections. And and uh, so people who are casting aspersions on our election process are threatening one of the bases of our very, uh, very foundation. So, uh, yeah, I, I was critical of that and continue to be. And I'm sure they wouldn't be surprised to hear it again. I think Mitt Romney is probably right. I don't really think Ted Cruz thought the election was stolen. Does Mike Pillow think the election was really stolen? Yeah, probably. But I don't think Ted Cruz actually thinks that. Last clip here of Mitt Romney after he announces he will not seek reelection on the possibility of a Biden impeachment. 
He says, I haven't heard anything that would be worthy of that level. It just, I just don't see it. I haven't heard any allegation of something that would rise to the level of a high crime or misdemeanor. I think it'd be very unusual to actually see a referral of impeachment. I, I don't expect that to happen. Uh, they can inquire uh, and see if there's evidence that, that, that shows something else. I don't think they'll find that. I don't know. But there's been no allegation of that. And any, any uh, uh, hint of that has been denied by the president. So I, I'm not expecting that to occur. Now, Romney could also have gone further and said, listen, we they're going on a fishing expedition. There's just we don't have any reason to even start the inquiry. He's stopping short of that. He's saying, eh, you know, inquire. But I don't believe it will go any further. There are insider reports that there are other Republicans worried that in his book, Mitt Romney will reveal private conversations about Donald Trump and that we will actually learn the degree to which a lot of these Trump suck ups who were performing for an audience of an orange one. Uh, actually were being uh, we're just being cynical and doing it for access to power and proximity to the presidency. There is a report from Business Insider that there are Republicans worried about what Romney will say. I welcome it. Let's put it there.